Ladies and gentlemen, you are listening to the Upshift Podcast. Roll the introduction. Today, uh, we are talking about... We have a lot of stuff to talk about, actually, today. We got Formula 2. We got pre-race drama for the Italian Grand Prix. We have the most amazing Grand Prix I've ever seen in my entire life. But before we get into the Formula 1 stuff, we got some... uh, name changing rebranding kind of stuff uh Renault will be changing their name to Alpine Grand Prix um this was kind of known it was kind of leaked on Twitter and also um Cyril I think was appointed to a director position in Alpine so it was kind of uh we kind of all saw it coming but we'll have four A teams uh in the grid for 2021 uh with aston martin alfa romeo alfa tari and now alpine but uh will the rebranding help them somehow or will it be same old same old what will they just be a midfield team um but we shall see next year and now for formula two i want to get through this kick so i can just splurge about the grand prix um now what happened is battle between the lead with uh, Kellum Isla and Dan Tictum. Dan Tictum got out in front and w- ended up winning the race and got into the health car for some reason and got to the podium at, in the health car. Then after the race, he got DSQ'd. He got disqualified because insufficient fuel sample by Dams. I don't, I don't know how. I'm not very well versed in the rules of that type of stuff. Um, it's just really... I don't really know. So, Kellum Eilat ended up taking the win, and, um, yeah, he, uh, Dan Tictum ended up not scoring any points. Uh, so that blew the championship wide open with, uh, <clears throat> with Kellum Eilat retaining the championship lead. Sorry, taking the championship lead away from Robert Schwartzman, and Michael Schumacher, uh, upped his teammate and moved up into P2. So now the championship standing starting from last place is Samaya, Sato, Vips, Markolov, Pedro Pique, Sean Galeo, Roy Nassani, Alessi, Druvula, Armstrong, Aiken, Matushita, Felipe Drogovic, Luka Giotto, Dictum, Louis Delatraz, Guan Hujo, Nikita Mazepin, Christian Lungard, Yuki Tsunoda, uh, Robert Schwartzman, Mick Schumacher, and Kellum Eilat. Kellum Eilat's only ahead of Mick Schumacher by six points. And again, the top four um, can, I think, are the only people who can win. Y- Yuki is starting to slide down a bit, but I think he can still claw his way back and win this championship. Um, and now moving on to the Grand Prix. We have so much to talk about. Before everything happened, uh, first lap, Bottas, horrible, horrible start by him. He had some kind of mechanical issue, and he got passed by Sainz, then Norris, and then, um, I think, Perez for a little bit. I don't remember. But uh, Perez got in front of him, I think. And then Verstappen tried to get out in front of him, but then he struggled to get out. He kind of had a mechanical issue as well. And then they tried to have a battle, but then... Bottas just pulled away, uh, and then p- got past Perez, I think, and tried to chase down Lando, and he just couldn't close the gap. Uh, and then we saw the huge brake failure for, um, sorry, uh, Sebastian Vettel, right, uh, he locked up in going into the first chicane and uh for his rear tires and i think his rear left failed and he just could not stop so he just went straight on uh into the sign signs i don't know what those are but he went straight on broke all of them and he just kept going he ended up uh going into the pits and retiring uh and then we saw Kevin Magnuson, he had a mechanical dnf which caused a safety car which caused even more drama with Lewis Hamilton pulling into the pits and then getting penalized for it. He had a 10 second stop go penalty, which was absolutely crazy. Um, also in the first lap, Alex Albon got into some contact with Pierre Gasly. He had a lot of floor damage um, and caused him to lose a lot of time, which is sad for Rebel. No points today, which is kind of surprising. So they lose out 
massively um, against Mercedes. Uh, Max Verstappen ended up DNFing with that mechanical issue I said earlier. Um, but then Lewis, uh, later in the race, Lewis uh, pits, gets a 10 second stop and go penalty, and so does Antonio Giovinazzi. They ruin, kind of ruined those those two races um and then we saw a huge crash by Charles Leclerc luckily he's okay um uh, but that was a pretty scary accident that caused a red flag and then Lewis Hamilton instead of staying in the cockpit like almost all the drivers he went to the steward's office and tried to reason with them to take away the penalty but that ended up falling through and he had to go back to the cockpit the red flag ended and then they went out for the first standing start uh standing restart in f1 history um so that was that was pretty cool um and then i was telling uh my dad when i was watching it that ghastly seemed like a, in a net p2 uh net p1 sorry at the time i didn't know that uh, Lor uh lance stroll took off his tires which which I don't think that's a very fair rule, like Lando said in the post-race show. It just, it's a free pit stop. They don't lose any time, and they have fresh rubber that they can just go on. So, yeah, I don't agree with that. I agree with Lando. It was just not, it's just not a good rule. Um, and it benefited Lance uh, to the point where he got podium, but I'll say stuff about that later. Great start um, by signs he had a pretty good start um okay start by stroll um and then they went into the chicane the race went on and immediately hamilton pull hamilton put on pulled into the pits and served his 10 second stop go penalty and then that put gasly in the lead and lewis was 30 seconds back from uh, who, someone who was in last place alex albon uh and he caught up right to the back of him passed him and passed everyone all the way into p7 uh Valtteri ended up getting p5 i believe yeah he got p5 so uh okay results by mercedes um of course if red bull had any pace today uh they could have easily lost a ton of points uh but uh they didn't uh and they actually gained some points they gained uh they gained 17 points on red bull so i th still think that the constructors championship is wrapped up and mercedes has pulled away from it and also i'm sorry that y yesterday i predicted that it would be a mercedes one two and max in p3 boy was i wrong <laughs> this is this is a very weird Grand Prix, uh, but we go further in the race, and then um, everyone's saying the commentators are saying Carlos is gonna get him in one lap, and then one lap passes and he's still two seconds back, and then they go to the next lap, one more lap and Science is on the back of him, he's one point eight seconds. They keep going and keep going, and then the most amazing racing the most intense racing i was on the edge of my seat the entire the last three four laps just watching is pierre gonna hold on to this win is he gonna get passed by signs and pierre did it he held on to that p1 he held on from the attack from signs he held on to those degrading tires and won the grand prix the alpha tauri the man who got demoted from the red bull racing team back to toro rosso had his confidence knocked, knocked everyone doubted him and he won the grand prix great job by pierre uh the podium was pierre gasly winning carlos Sainz in second and lance stroll getting his second ever podium and so did carlos Sainz. great job by pierre well deserved well deserved by Pierre. It was just an amazing race throughout. He had, he struggled through the first uh, few laps, I think, and he somehow got it and he pulled through. So great job by Pierre. Uh, amazing race, um, but not good race for the senior team. Again, with a double not points finishing uh, race. Albon in P15 and Max uh, obviously retiring, but great weekend uh, for Alpha Tauri. They get their second ever win in a yeah a double points scoring race, hauling 
27 points. So great job by them. A good weekend for McLaren getting a podium, obviously, and also getting P4 with Lando Norris. So great job, McLaren. Um, good re weekend for Renault. Great job by them. Uh, P6 and P8. Uh, double points scoring position for them. They keep um, their double point scoring record um, from last year. They got a 4-5 last year in Monza. And they did it again today with a P6 and P7. And also, I forget, failed to mention, this is uh, Pierre is the first person, first Frenchman to win since in 24, 25 years or something like that. I, I know it's... Um, 8,888 days or something like that, or 88,000 days or something like that, something crazy, but great job by Pierre, he only won by four tenths of a second, so it could have been Carl Sainz's first ever win, but Pierre definitely deserved it, he said that the president of France ended up calling him after the race, so that is pretty cool, good job Pierre Gasly, driver of the day, the Upshift Podcast Award for driver of the day goes to Pierre Gasly, Obviously, <laughs> great job by Pierre. I'm just, this was the best race I have ever seen. This was better than Austria uh, this year. This was better than Brazil last year and Germany last year. It's the best race I've ever seen. A full midfield podium. Great job. Um, both the podium boys uh, of Carlos Sainz and Lance Stroll, they seemed a bit disappointed, but it's a pretty cool thing. Um, again, like uh, my dad said, uh, those guys think about could have been their first one. They don't get much many opportunities uh, having the two top teams kind of out of the race. Um, so definitely kind of disappointing for them. But they got to they got to think about this is a podium for them. Uh, this is Racing Point's first ever podium and signs his second ever podium and his best ever finish and the best ever finish for McLaren in a long time. Um, so really good job uh, by McLaren. Um, and this wraps up the episode. If you guys have all enjoyed the podcast, please consider liking, subbing, and sharing. Uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel at Upshift Podcast. A T in Upshift is a one. Follow me on Twitter at the Upshift Cast. Follow me on Instagram at the Upshift Cast. Follow me on Facebook at Zaki Boshan. And thank you all for watching and listening. I hope you all all have a good day. Ha stay safe in quarantine. Uh, and we look on to Mangello. And I'm excited. Goodbye.